हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Welcome to Krishna Creative Yoga Technologies, the online information resource. Let's go now to Washington Square Park in New York for the annual Ratha Yatra Festival. Okay, uh, your name's Dustin. Yeah. And you're a Hare Krishna. That's what I heard. <laughs> like you're affiliated with the Hare Krishnas, I would never wit. Don't don't. I worship Krishna. I pray to Krishna every day. I try and do my rounds when I can. I uh, I, follow, I try to follow the rules the best I can. You know, I, I, I see examples all around me and I try and associate with those good examples. That's great. Now, Dustin, uh, you, you have tattoos? Let me, can I see one of your tattoos on your arm? Yeah. On your hands? Yeah. Wow, those are, those are real cool. So, really, Krishna's, you can wear, if you're a Krishna, you can have had tattoos, right? So it's no, it uh, doesn't matter, right? Nobody said anything to me yet. As long as you're not, what, killing animals, right? Pretty killing, much? Yeah, I think you're killing people or whatever. I don't think anyone needs to die. Right, so what's your, uh, how do you feel about, uh, Vegan versus vegetarian. Like, let's say somebody says, "Hey, you know, I'm a vegetarian. I don't know about being vegan. What's your perspective on a whole vegan versus vegetarian thing?" Well, I was Personally. vegan for a while, and I thought, like, I've read things that said, like, uh, if you're a vegetarian, you're still, and in, in, uh, you're trying not to eat things that are from animals. Um, or if you're a vegan, yeah, if you're a vegan, you're not eating things from animals, and you're vegetarian, you still are, and like. When I would go over to India, I'd eat the cheese, you know, and stuff, because I knew it was coming from a better place, where in America, it wasn't, because you have a lot of uh, factory farms and stuff like that, where you can't necessarily, you don't know where it's coming from. So I chose veganism for that, and I did that for a couple years, and I just recently stopped, for no particular reason, it just happened. Wow. Um, so, Dustin, you mentioned you were in, you went to India. Yeah. For for how long and what did you do there? Uh, I've been to India twice. Just okay. To, uh, uh, I've been both times with uh, Raghunath Kappa. Ra uh, Raghunath. Raghunath. I just went Ra on a pilgrimage and uh, learned about yoga and kind of that's where I first dove into this experience. You know, I started from an asana point of view, doing poses and things, and All wanted right. to really learn more. And now. Uh, I don't really do asana as much, and I got a little fatter. Okay. And, but I'm here at these great festivals and stuff, and I'm chanting and having a good time. So, what were you raised? Like, what was your denomination uh, growing up? What were you, uh, Catholic, Protestant, or uh, non-denominational? What was the, uh, how, how were you raised? Super laid-back Catholic. My parents didn't really do anything. Um, we, we were the people that go to church on Easter, and then that didn't, that stopped too. This is a kind of my own, path, you know. Dustin, sorry to interrupt, do you feel a lot of young kids have misconceptions about the Hare Krishnas and what are a few that you could like maybe uh, bring bring some light, like you could, uh, do you find a lot of people have misconceptions about the Hare, you know, Krishnas? Um, I think, yeah, maybe, maybe not, not in this day, like from where no. I'm standing at in this day and age, I think it's almost become kind of hip. I don't know, maybe you differ than it used to be. Like, uh, I remember being a kid and seeing a movie called Airplane, and there was Hare Krishnas in that. I remember seeing my mom, <laughs> it who are those guys, you know? And she's like, oh, those are those crazy Hare Krishnas. But now, like, you see uh, the Hare Krishnas and stuff. You see things like this. You see a lot of um, younger kids in it. And uh, okay. it's become more, more accepted, I think. So I don't really, no one's ever given me guff for doing what I do yet. Okay. And I've been doing it for a couple years now. No. One uh, one last thing. What what words of hope do you have for let's say those youth who are kind of down and out and they're like trying to get out of the the, the doldrums or they're like on a path uh, to to nowhere. Uh, what do you feel, what, what words of hope could you give them in regards to Hare Krishna or things in general? Like, uh, we have, you know, there's a lot of like nihilism, uh, nihilistic thought, a lot of uh, atheistic uh, material, you know, we're, look, at, look at this, we're in New York City, look at this, Mater the material capital of the world. Yeah. So, and you know, uh, some last words of hope. Uh, keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. <laughs>